I have this workflow that's added a little boost to my day, and I just want to make sure you know about it. It's nothing crazy, but I don't think enough people are using it. All you need is your coding assistant of choice and an MCP server. Let me show you. So my little coding assistant of choice is Cloud Code. Uh, head on over to anthropic.com slash cloud code to make sure you install it and get the latest version. It's my go-to choice when you're going to have a little assistant running in the background. For MCP, I use Toolhive. Toolhive makes it simple, secure. If you want to make sure you focus on security, it's really easy to download. They have something for you. You can do a CLI or the desktop app. Their docs are very clear to show how you can set everything up. It works with cursor, cloud code, and a lot more. For this demo, I'm going to be using my Obsidian plugin generator. It's a cool project. You should be using Obsidian for your notes. If you're not, It's uh, it works great, especially with AI. I created a few issues, just some generic ones, allows support for more model providers, just so we can you know get the user's choice in the project. And one thing to note when we're using the GitHub MCP servers, you'll need your personal access token. So for that, you go to your settings, down to the developer settings, and then you will generate one of the personal access tokens. If you decide to go the GUI route for Toolhive, uh, you can see I've already installed GitHub. What you would do is go to the registry, search up GitHub, and then install server. This is where you add your personal access token and then install, and you can see we have it all up and running. After you navigate into the project that you wanna work on, you just fire up Claude, and then I just start my day asking Claude, um, list the issues. And then what this will do is it actually goes to the GitHub repository, make sure it has the correct link to it, use the MCP function to get all the issues along with the contents of the issue. So it provides a little extra context and then shows them to you here. So let's start with, you know, uh, open AI. So start work on number one. And then Claude will start working on this issue. It's going to start looking through the code base and doing the other context gathering that it needs. And meanwhile, you don't have to be babysitting it. You can go off and do other things, work on other projects, try to figure out other aspects of your code base that you can get Claude to help with. But by allowing it to be done through issues rather than just implementing it directly at the moment, you're able to asynchronously uh, plan for your project and then delegate the tasks. So you can be going through a session of, with a product manager or with someone that's less technical and just start capturing all the issues. Maybe users can submit issue forms and that you can you know, properly parse and then add to these issues. So you don't have to directly feed things into the AI at the moment. These can just be things that you have on the to-do list. Yep, this looks good. You can also remember shift tab. There it is just making different changes throughout the whole code base. You add more context to the issues. It makes sure that Claude is able to get the full understanding of what is your trying to do. These issues, very straightforward and basic, so I didn't need to add too much context. But if you want something more complex or something done a specific way, the more details you give it, the better. You can see even updates documentation rather than just the code itself. So it really does a full, well-rounded solution. And now that it finished the task at hand, we can say, all right, it's been tested, it's been proven. Let's create a PR so we can review it. Create a PR with the latest changes. And you fire that through and then Claude is going to use the same MCP to get it up there. And then when you go to review the PR, you can see it leaves a few comments about the works that it did, does let you know it was generated by Claude code, associates it with the issue, everything you want in a good PR comment. Now you'll, you'll see here, I do have a, a GitHub bot, Mentat, reviewing work. Anytime a new PR comes in, Mentat will review it. Having these GitHub bots is great. It's an extra set of eyes. It'll bring things to your attention or kind of give you a little reassurance that things are good. Now these changes are, are very straightforward. We just update the documentation and then add a new entry and update the CLI arguments. Nothing too crazy, but you can see that everything just happened and I didn't have to pay attention to it. This could have been working. And then all of a sudden my code gets a bit more functionality thanks to Claude code operating in the background with the help of MCP servers. So just a little one today, but it has added value to my workflow. It allows me to separate making a to-do list of things I need to work on, allow me to give my agent a little bit of background work to do as I work on other things. And then I can still review the work in the end. So I still get to keep that human in the loop aspect. I hope you enjoyed this and please let me know if there's other MCP demos that you'd like to see. Thanks and I'll see you next time.